STL is a file format native to the stereolithography CAD software created by 3D Systems. STL is also known as standard tessellation language. This file format is supported by many other software packages. It is widely used for rapid prototyping and computer-aided manufacturing. STL files describe only the surface geometry of a three-dimensional object without any representation of color, texture or other common CAD model attributes. The STL format specifies both ASCII and binary representations. Binary files are more common, since they are more compact. An STL file describes a raw unstructured triangulated surface by the unit normal and vertices of the triangles using a three-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system. STL coordinates must be positive numbers, there is no scale information, and the units are arbitrary. ASCII STL An ASCII STL file begins with the line. Solid name. Where name is an optional string. The file continues with any number of triangles. Each represented as follows. Facet normal ni n j n k, outer loop, vertex v1 x v1 y v1 z, vertex v2 x v2 y v2 z, vertex v3 x v3 y v3 z, end loop, end facet. Where each n or v is a floating point number and sign mantis e sign exponent format, for example, 2.648000 e002. The file concludes with in solid name. The structure of the format suggests that other possibilities exist. In practice, however, all facets are simple triangles. White space may be used anywhere in the file except within numbers or words. The spaces between facet, and normal, and between outer, and loop are required. Binary STL, because ASCII STL files can become very large, a binary version of STL exists. A binary STL file has an 80 character header. Following the header is a 4 byte unsigned integer indicating the number of triangular facets in the file. Following that is data describing each triangle in turn. The file simply ends after the last triangle. Each triangle is described by 12 32 bit floating point numbers, 3 for the normal and then 3 for the XZ coordinate of each vertex a euro just as with the ASCII version of STL. After these follows a 2-byte unsigned integer that is the attribute byte counter euro in the standard format, this should be zero because most software does not understand anything else. Floating point numbers are represented as IEEE -E -E floating point numbers and are assumed to be little endian, although this is not stated in documentation. UINT8, 80, a euro header, UINT32 a euro number of triangles, for each triangle, a real 32 3, a euro normal vector, a real 32, 3, a euro vertex 1 real 32, 3, a euro vertex 2 real 32, 3, a euro vertex 3, uint 16 a euro attribute byte count, end. Color in binary STL, there are at least two variations on the binary STL format for adding color information. The Viscam and SolidView software packages use the two attribute byte count bytes at the end of every triangle to store a 15 bit RGB color. Bits 0 to 4 are the intensity level for blue, bits 5 to 9 are the intensity level for green, bits 10 to 14 are the intensity level for red, bit 15 is 1 if the color is valid, or 0 if the color is not valid. The Materialize Magic software does things a little differently. It uses the 80-byte header at the top of the file to represent the overall color of the entire part. If color is used, then somewhere in the header should be the ASCII string color equals followed by 4 bytes representing red, green, blue and alpha channel in the range 0 a Euro 255. This is the color of the entire object, unless overwritten at each facet. Magix also recognizes a material description. A more detailed surface characteristic. Just after color equals RGBA specification should be another ASCII string, material equals followed by three colors, first is a color of diffuse reflection, second is a color of specular highlight, and third is an ambient light. Material settings are preferred over color. The per facet color is represented in the two attribute byte count bytes as follows, bit 0 to 4 are the intensity level for red, 
bits 5 to 9 are the intensity level for green, bits 10 to 14 are the intensity level for blue, bit 15 is 0 if this facet has its own unique color, or 1 if the per object color is to be used. The red-blue ordering within those two bytes is reversed in these two approaches a euro so while these formats could easily have been compatible, the reversal of the order of the colors means that they are not a euro, and worse still, a generic STL file reader cannot automatically distinguish between them. There is also no way to have facets be selectively transparent because there is no per facet alpha value a euro although in the context of current rapid prototyping machinery, this is not important. The facet normal, in both ASCII and binary versions of STL, the facet normal should be a unit vector pointing outwards from the solid object. In most software this may be set to, and the software will automatically calculate a normal based on the order of the triangle vertices using the right hand rule. Some STL loaders check that the normal in the file agrees with the normal they calculate using the right hand rule and warn the user when it does not. Other software may ignore the facet normal entirely and use only the right hand rule. Although it is rare to specify a normal that cannot be calculated using the right hand rule, in order to be entirely portable, a file should both provide the facet normal and order the vertices appropriately. A notable exception is SolidWorks, which uses the normal for shading effects. History of use Stereolithography machines are 3D printers that can build any volume shape as a series of slices. Ultimately these machines require a series of closed 2D contours that are filled in with solidified material as the layers are fused together. A natural file format for such a machine would be a series of closed polygons corresponding to different Z values. However, since it's possible to vary the layer thicknesses for a faster though less precise build, it was easier to define the model to be built as a closed polyhedron that can be sliced at the necessary horizontal levels. The STL file format appears capable of defining a polyhedron with any polygonal facet, but in practice it's only ever used for triangles, which means that much of the syntax of the ASCII protocol is superfluous. To properly form a 3D volume, the surface represented by any STL files must be closed and connected, where every edge is part of exactly two triangles, and not self-intersecting. Since the STL syntax does not enforce this property, it can be ignored for applications where the closedness doesn't matter. The closedness only matters in so far as the software that slices the triangles requires it to ensure that the resulting 2D polygons are closed. Sometimes such software can be written to clean up small discrepancies by moving vertices that are close together so that they coincide. The results are not predictable, but it is often sufficient. Use in other fields, STL file format is simple, so it is easy to output. Consequently, many computer-aided design systems can output the STL file format. Although the output is simple to produce, some connectivity information is discarded. Many computer-aided manufacturing systems require triangulated models. STL format is not the most memory and computationally efficient method for transferring this data, but STL is often used to import the triangulated geometry into the CAM system. The format is commonly available, so the CAM system will use it. In order to use the data, the CAM system may have to reconstruct the connectivity. STL can also be used for interchanging data between CAD CAM systems and computational environments such as Mathematica. Notes, on Windows, the STL file extension is labeled as a certificate trust list despite containing the stereolithography file format. See also, Additive Manufacturing File Format, an ASTM standard that has native support for color, multiple materials, and constellations, PLY an alternative file format offering more flexibility than most stereolithography applications. Wavefront OBJ file, a 3D geometry definition file format with OBJ file extension, MeshLab, a free and open source cross-platform application for visualizing, processing and converting three-dimensional meshes to or from the STL file format. Clara.io, a free online 3D editor that can import, edit and export STL files. Cloud Compare, another open source application for handling STL files. Mathematica, 
a technical computing system that can work with STL files. References Stereolithography Interface Specification, 3D Systems, Incorporated, July 1988 A, Stereolithography Interface Specification, 3D Systems, Incorporated, October 1989 A, SLC File Specification, 3D Systems, Incorporated, 1994 A, Qua, CK. Leong, KF. Lim, CS, Rapid Prototyping, Principles and Applications, World Scientific Publishing Company, ISBN A 981-238-117-1 A Chapter 6, Rapid Prototyping Formats. Page 237, the STL file, as the de facto standard, has been used in many, if not all, rapid prototyping systems. Section 6.2 STL file problems. Section 6.4 STL file repair. External links, the STL format, standard data format for Fabers, instructions for exporting STL files from various CAD packages.